Good morrows everyone. I hope everyone's well. Today, off camera, I've been doing a few things. Um, one, I've built a iron farm. Uh, I was editing and stuff and I built it between editing and getting the... Hold on, Jesus. Um, and I built it between, like, uh, editing and stuff and I've gone AFK for about, like, a full day, like, 24 hours. So I was AFK in there, well... I quickly just set all this up. I'm going to make this a sort of system and make it go into the ground and stuff, but for now this will do until I come back to it later. Today I want to build my manor and then later in the episode I'll come back to this and get all this sorted and hopefully get my warehouse either fully finished or half done because uh, I want to build my manor uh, over that direction and then also build a warehouse. So I want to build a warehouse like over this. The reason I'm doing that is more for aesthetic than anything else. And I'm going to have to cap everything and light everything up. But it'll be so cool to have. Yeah, I got, I got it working anyway. Um, I also got a few heads while doing it. I also sold one. I got a nitwit villager head where like the eyes cr are cross-eyed and stuff. And it's the green villager that just can't do anything. And so far I've got all this bit here. All this all this and a little bit here but that is quite a lot to say it's only been like a day i want to convert that and put it in my ender chest also i did do a few bits to my base i added like a staircase going up because i thought it looked a bit bland and jumping up the stairs really did my head in like not stairs jumping up the grass really did my head in so i decided to add stairs and stuff and add like a little sort of i wanted to stick with a spruce and add a bit more bushes because i did get a bit of bushes from the trees but never gotten to use them in this i was going to place them there but i don't think that'll be right so i also added uh some chests i hadn't done anything yet and um, oh, also by the way the black blocks that you see uh i just uh but they're missing the texture i don't know why that's happening i've restarted i've done everything it's just not fixed so that hopefully should be fixed uh, sooner in the episode. Um, anyway, they, I've got dirt in here, stuff like that. And I'm just going to, I didn't want to make it too big because I want to do a sorting system when I do the manor over that direction. I've sort of already started mining some of it out as it's flat. Um, and I'm going to put these in here um, and I'll just, I'll quickly move them in and I'll see you once I've done it. So I've um, moved everything to my base over there as you can see behind me uh there's nothing there anymore i've moved it all it looks a lot cleaner which is so nice <laughs> now you can finally see my whole base without a massive chest monster now if i want to find something i can find it straight away without having to look through every single chest <laughs> it does look a little bit messy in here and stuff but yeah I'm, it's only temporary so and i've never really done all of this uh luckily i've got invisible item frame so all of this looks a lot better except that yeah anyway i've got this is a wood chest this is like all the i don't know like diorite granite and the literally all of them sort of blocks because i will be getting quite a lot of them and i do need them later on i've got my co cobble stuff in here stone in here dirt and all that sort of stuff in here deep slate all my redstone stuff in here all my like chest some wooden stuff in here that isn't wood specifically got all my like ores and stuff my i think like half an hour or something like that um so yeah uh, and as you can see nuku wants to have arrows so i'm gonna go trade with nuku a chest full of arrows for something i don't know what yet but i'll think of it on the way so let's go So I've just, uh, I don't know if I'm going the right way, I've just done s seven diamonds for a full chest full of arrows. I mean, I wasn't going to use them anyway, so I thought I'll give them to Nuku when he needed them, so I got seven diamonds from it, which is good. Um, I'm going to go this way, I think I'm going the right way. I might not be, I might be going the complete opposite way, but uh, on the way back there is a uh fortress another fortress and 
it is so close by so far. Instead of going past it and having to come back another day, I might just do like a little grind. Um, just try and get as many weather scrolls as I can for a bit and see how it goes. Uh, and then I've got them and then I can do the wither later. Um, so I'll let you know how it goes. So I've made it back home quite safe. Um, I was only able to get far. I wanted, well, I, I had trouble just getting two and then the, la the third one was pretty easy. Then I got another one by accident from another one when I was leaving. But my armor is so broken. Like, I've got no no more pants because they broke. I don't know how. Um, and my helmet is going as well. But I need unbreaking on some stuff. So I, I didn't have unbreaking on these two. And I want to get mending. So what I'm thinking is I might get, get unbreaking, prop, far, and mending from some villages over there. That wouldn't take long. And I've got the emeralds for it and stuff. And I've got the books. So I'm probably going to do that. And, um get good armor and stuff and I don't have to worry about it. Um, but I got quite a lot from the mobs and stuff. I um, made quite good progress with it. I want to start a raid farm. Um, which I've already know some coordinates to an outpost, which is really close to my base. Um, so I will go and adventure over there once I get my armor and stuff back and I'll show you it. Um, but until then I'm just going to quickly get my armor and stuff. So I've just found out, uh, I've just found out that Swifty, my neighbour, um, is having some problems, well he's, he's had some problems today, I think, and the other day. He basically just, there's been some dishonesty in the server and someone's been, uh, stealing or whatever, so, um, because they stole from one of the members originally, and she found out, and then I think they did it a couple of times, took a diamond, like a stack of diamonds and a lot of iron. Um, and then also Swifty's Jeb head, the rainbow sheep head that he got, is super rare, and someone took that from his base. Um, and then ever since, you know, it's just been a whole ball age, so he's left some messages uh, in his base saying like that he's leaving the realm and stuff um because apparently some people are annoying him so i'm just going to build him a little present uh build him a little present and leave him some little gifts and hopefully that'll encourage him to stay a little bit and stuff because i don't want him to leave he's my neighbor so i'm just going to build him a little present for a little nice sort of uh gift and hopefully it'll convince him to stay a little bit so I just went from to get my base to get some uh, stuff. I don't want to be too generous because I don't really have much either. Um, but I've come up with this. So all this. So I've given some iron, some diamonds, some redstone, and wither skeleton skulls. Uh, for the falling four, he put his armor in this chest, but he doesn't have feather falling on it. Not much really. Didn't check until just now, so, um, but it's quite spacey in here, so what I'm going to do first is get a chest and put it in and then put signs and stuff as well. The time being though, I want to do like, I want to do like blocks, like all the way up and here, uh, and then here, Like that. So it's sort of like iron spread it about and then in here. Uh actually I'm gonna just find this. No. Oh, this is gonna annoy me now. Right, I'll put the skeleton head there, that there. I also give him a loot in the sword. It's got not back on it too. Not back too, so I don't want it. It's just gonna sit in my chest, so I don't even wanna try. And I just got some emeralds for like decorations and stuff. Uh, there we go. So uh, there's like some emeralds just plotted about. I feel like it's just a nice design, you know? Uh, and I'll do some diamonds too. There we go. Some diamonds too. And then let's place... Ah, oh, that's how. There we go. And then like that. Um, And then I'm going to put like a little note in here too. So I finally um completed it. Um, I've basically just put a gift for Swift displays eyes only. And then you come in, there's all this. He gets all the uh, items. And then there's a little book. A grateful gift by your neighbour. 
And then in here is, hello neighbour, I wanted to take a moment to appreciate your niceness and chill vibes. You've been an absolute delight to have as a neighbour and I'd be bummed to if you decide to leave our virtual neighbourhood. To show my gratitude, I've left a little gift for you. It's not an extravagant, but it comes straight from the heart. Hopefully it brings a smile to your face and reminds you of the positive vibes we share. Keep being the awesome neighbour that you are, and let's continue creating great memories together. Warm regards, your European neighbour, one bad essay. Um, and then there's 50 things, and if he skips to the 50 pages, it basically says, you really came all the way here, <laughs> even though nothing was on the previous pages. Wow. <laughs> um, so I think it's a pretty decent gift. I know the message is a bit cringy, but I don't really think of all else, so I just put that... Um, I really do like how it's turned out though, it's like right outside of his base, so he'll come out of his base and boom, a gift. And then it comes up and it's for Swifty plays only. I messaged him on Discord uh, about it, so that's on screen here. Um, I'm just hoping he, he finds it okay and no one else takes anything from it. Um, but it was nice to put together for him and it's sort of just like another side thing like I did in the last episode and I really enjoyed doing this I've never really done a proper gift for someone in survival so I hope it reaches him well and um, let's move on to I need to get my pants stuff so I've um, I finally got some I've been enchanted for quite a long time um, I've got pr protection and a break and everything now um, pretty much and pretty much maxed out everything I I do want to get mending, but I don't want to get mending until I get um, netherite. Because I feel like I need netherite now, and I want to build my emerald farm. So I'll just get it after I build the raid farm. Because I don't want to use any of these. I want to turn all these into, most of these into, like, stone cuts and stuff like that. Uh, I did try to get some emeralds from this, but I need, like, emeralds to get it started to get the iron. So um, what I'm going to do is just quickly do, do like, a quite a big, hopefully quite a big netherite uh, run and see if I can get quite a lot of netherite and then I'll upgrade and hopefully have some spare. So I'll see how much I get. So I um, went mine for a bit. When I first went, uh, I had full, like, full durability on my pickaxes. Um, and I've been mining for about an hour and a half and I was only able to get 38, so that'll make me a total of nine and a half. Uh, that'll be enough to get all my armor and stuff done, like all my tools. What I want to do is build my raid farm, then I can get mending. Then I don't have to worry about that, because so far I've literally just been mending it with diamonds. I can't really do anything else. I have tried to get the villagers over there to trade with emeralds and stuff, but I've just spent about half an hour trading with them, like sticks, and then trading the emeralds to the iron villagers so I can trade the iron for the emeralds. And I've made nothing back from it, so I'm going to leave it for the time being. Um, and go build my raid farm, then I can just start trading with them and I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to get some diamonds, go over to Guru's base and uh, buy some gold off of him, hopefully, and then I've got all of enough gold, because at the moment, I haven't got hardly any gold. That's as much as I've got, and that'll only get me five. Um, and I'm not going to upgrade it just yet, I'm just going to wait, it's just easier. So, uh, I've got all the tool, all the all the stuff to build the Guardian farm ready. You know, the tridents, all that sort of stuff. I've got bow and obsidian to get the villager up to the thing as well, and I've got loads of leaves in case I need it, uh, and glass and stuff like that. So I'm going to go build this now, and uh, I'll see you when I'm there or when it's done. The, so, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the I've got totems on my diamond. The, that's the pack, by the way. The pack is uh, Uno reverse cards, that's why. Um, I did a manual one to get a totem of undyance, because then I don't have to worry about dying. And it turned out there was five raids, like five, um, what's it called? Five Vindicators. So, <laughs> mental. Um, but I managed to get four. So that's three extra ones that I get, and I might sell a few, but I probably won't need to until I actually make the raid farm. I just wanted to trade with these villagers to see if I can get some mending for my thing. Oh, because I've got the hero thing. If I make some of these, oh, 
this is so not worth it, man. Uh, if I do this, I get my emeralds back and I get the mending book, which is fantastic. Um, I can't get any just yet. So, um... I'm gonna. I grabbed way too many books. I just realised, uh, but it's so cheap for mending books. I've got four mending books, all for seven emeralds, which is great. Um, and these guys, these guys still aren't selling them. I'm gonna put all this mending. I'm gonna try to get mending on all my armor. Go over to uh, Guru's gold farm to quickly mend it all up. Otherwise, it's gonna break, and I can't really be bothered to redo everything. Uh, I'll put it all on this as well and mend everything. And then I think I'll probably. Because I need gold blocks anyway, so I'm going to go over there and trade with them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get mending and then I can make some other netherite tools. So, since last clip, I've been doing a, quite a lot of work off of um, cam on like off off the camera and stuff. Because, as you can see, the amount of things on the floor right now. I'm at my raid farm currently, and I haven't got it working yet. I've built the whole thing, but I don't know what's going on. Like, every time I try and run it, I go all the way up there, I've killed all the villagers, took all the beds, all the workstations, everything off of the village, stuff like, literally everything, killed all the cats, killed all the villagers, except one that's in that little thing up there, that little cube leave thing, and it's just not working, I've done the storage system, the cube thing, the trident killer down there, the portal, everything, and for some reason... Instead of spawning them where they're meant to spawn, they're spawning down here, and they're always spawning here. And I, I have literally zero idea why. So I think one thing that I'm going to have to do, because there's nothing, I've checked down there, there's no village or anything like that, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know how I'm going to find out how, why they're doing it, and I might even have to kill that villager and then see if they still spawn, and then if they still spawn, clearly something's gone wrong. Um... But there's literally nothing. No villagers, nothing. No beds. They shouldn't be spawning anywhere except up there. And I've even gone up there before. Like, I've been down here and it's not set off anything. I've gone up there and it's set it off as soon as I got near the villager. And then it's put them down here instead. And I don't know why. I have zero clue. So what I might do, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, I also did upgrade to netherite and put mending on every single thing. Which is great, now I don't have to worry about my armour. Plus, I've been doing so many raids, I got so many heads. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. what I'm going to do is clear... I would pick up more totems, but I've got so many. And I've just been using them and just like going ham and dying. Like, there's literally just them laying everywhere. I don't even think at this point I need the raid farm, because there's just so much stuff. But I'm going to clear out this whole village. Uh, I'm going to do like a time lapse, hopefully, of me clearing out this whole village. And it'll just look better anyway, because this is cool, but I'll need to find the problem. So I'm going to completely wipe it and see if there's a problem. Say, like, there could be something in the towers or something I'm missing. And I'm just going to see if that's a problem. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and quickly clear the village. Basically, as I was doing all of this, it looks a lot better actually. It looks a lot more open now, and it's quite nice. Uh, okay. So, I don't know if this is a problem. There were no beds, but there was one work, sh work station that I did miss, and I don't know if that was the problem or not. But I'm going to test it now, see if it works. I'm going to sleep test it. Um, and if it's still the problem, where they spawn, I'm going to mark where they spawn, and then I'm going to get a load of leaves and just do like a big radius and see if they still spawn there. Because it might just be the fact that it's a, it, it, I might, because it's like just there, as I'm there, it might just be a in spawn radius or something. I don't know why it is, because they should be spawning nearest the villager, which is up there. Um, or they might not even able to spawn up there because um, the water or something. I'll have to try a load of things. I'll get rid of the water, I'll do the leaves, I'll see what happens. Uh, and I'll just see if I can find the problem. I honestly, I, 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 have, I have zero clue what I did. I have zero clue at all. I don't know what I did. All I did was get rid of the... It, it, I think it was the one workstation I 
Um, yeah, I don't know why it wasn't working before. I, I have literally zero idea why. Um, it makes no sense to me. Uh, I think it's just there were one workstation in the village um, that just wasn't, like, it just wasn't working for some reason. So that one, that one workstation just caused them to spawn down there. I don't know why. I don't know how, why that happened because they're meant to spawn near villagers with beds and there weren't a bed, any beds down there and there were no villagers down there that killed them all. It's working, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna probably sit here for about 10 minutes AFK and the reason I've got the boats is because I, my friend, uh, one of the people on the server, True, uh, he did say that Vec, when he did do this design before, because he's also doing, I think he's doing the same one, he might have already done it, AFK, so I'm not sure if he's been doing it or not. Um, but I basically, in the first Silent Whisperer, this is Silent Whisperer's design, which is great, it's the V7 one, uh, upgraded V7, and it's only it's like only a couple months old. So I put two tridents in there, because uh, Vex's spawn, which killed you when you were AFK, um, and I think the main reason for that is because when the vet, when the, what's the name, spawn in, they were uh, coming down, dying, um, they were coming down and then not dying fast enough because they were getting like shoved back or something like here. But I've put two in so they die instantly um, and they like take double the damage instead of having to like wait ages. Both of them are impaled in 5-2. And then I've got the boats in case they do spawn. The Vexes will fly upwards, probably fly up that way, and then fly towards me and down, and it, hopefully one of the boats will catch it. I'll probably put this boat down a little bit to like this level and see if that works. I'm just going to test everything because I've just built it and it's newly built, and I've put a boat up there too, um, in case it does fly up and then swing down to me. If, oh, for God's sake. Uh, if that boat don't catch it this one will and i'm probably just gonna afk like right here where the all the xp goes down this way and just hope that it works i'm just gonna see though because i don't know what will happen yet um and let's just see how it's going so far so i did do only four sorting systems and i did a lot because i want to afk this a crap ton to get a, as much emeralds as i possibly can get so far it's been running for not even two three minutes and i've already got a stack and a half um, which is absolutely amazing. Like, you're just over a stack in just less than an hour, like less than two minutes. That is mental. So that means I'm getting a stack every two minutes, and then every ten minutes I'm getting five stacks, and then every hour I'm getting, what, five times six, so 30 stacks in just an hour. So I've been doing this for about 20 to 30 minutes, and I've, <laughs> I've just noticed as I finished up the last raid, um that I wasn't holding my loot and sword. I was literally just nothing in hand. So everything that I've done could have been tripled or, you know, it could have been so much more effective. And I think it really will be really efficient when I hold my sword out. But these are the rates that I've got so far for like 20 minutes. It's not too bad to say it's only 20 minutes and I wasn't even holding my loot and sword out. So I could have probably got near to two rows in 20 minutes possibly because it could have been like doubled or tripled so um and then i've got like so many more totems uh this is all for 20 minutes so <laughs> say for instance if i do um do afk for two hours that's 20 minutes three double chestfuls is 20 minutes so that's 20 and then 40 and then 60 so that's an hour so that's pretty much all of this is going to be used and a little bit of that in two hours of AFK in all of these are going to be max full so I I underestimated it by a mile I thought I would have enough room if I added like some more here I'd be good to AFK probably overnight but no I was so wrong so 20 minutes got me 26 so 20 minutes got me t nearly a chest full of totems so I think what I'm going to do is I want to set up today, I want to set up a totem, uh, a totem, totem and emerald uh, shop. I'll probably have emeralds coming soon because I, I might make, I want to make it get totems out and then I can start making diamonds as soon as possible. But yeah, I'll sell them for a diamond and hopefully they do go well. No one's got a raid farm except true and double because I think they work together on it, uh, on like all the farms and stuff, but 
apart from that, I think everyone else should buy it. And then next week, I'll be going and busting as well. So I'll be able to get shulker boxes and stuff like that. And I think some, I think either True or someone else will be selling shulker boxes, which will be sick. Because I honestly, I will make a farm, but I don't want to make it like straight off the bat. Like it, it's so annoying to make a shulker farm. But I want to build my manor, so um, I'm going to build the shop, build the manor, and then if I have time, I'll build the gold farm as well. But yeah, I'm going to go get the resources for the uh, for the shop. Right, so I have got the materials and stuff all here. Um, I got that from a zombie. I've got all the materials, I've gathered everything that I need to build this shop. Um, I basically want to build it here. This is where I decided to build it next to this. I'll build it probably over to the left instead of there. So I can move this. I didn't know where to build it. So I thought this is a good place to build. Uh, there's the iron farm over there. Then the shop there. Double shop there. And portal here. So they'll come out and it'll be right here. Um, and it's not in the way of that or anything. It's still, it'll show because it will just be the legs here. And it'll go up and then out. So that'll still be visible and stuff. And it'll probably move that anyway because it's in a weird spot. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna build it here, and uh, I'll I'll show you building it, um, and then yeah, let's get into it. Hey, so that was quite fun to build and if you noticed I uh, had a different angle this time from last episode it's because I used an alt account this time and I was I meant to be getting like spectator mode on it so the transitions like soon will be much better than it has been like I'm slowly learning the better ways to do it but um, it took me a while and it actually turned out really well the purple swirls though are a bit off, like I built them in creative mode but they're a bit off here. But they still look completely fine from the ground and it gets the message across so I think they'll be okay. I can always move them later on. But since I built it I've paid for the plot with the two diamonds, sort of added it into the build. And then I've also put like what it is, so one bar totem and emerald shop. Then you go up here and I've made it so there's like a little water elevator. You go up and then in the shop and it's one totem for diamond. <laughs> and then I did have a few sales and I have topped up since and I've had more. Okay. Um, and I haven't sold any of the... Oh, I have. Okay. I topped these up as well because all of the, I put like a load in. Uh, I have got my raid farm working sort of well now. Like I can AFK it for hours and not get hit by the evokers or anything. But... I still need to fix it and I sort of have to babysit it. I can't AFK it fully yet. So for the time being, it's still going to be eight blocks for one diamond. I think that's an okay price. It, it is a bit expensive, but um, it, it doesn't really. It, I'll be changing it soon, um, hopefully, if, if it starts working and I can start AFKing it more. Um, but yeah, I've made quite a few diamonds from this already and I did put like a up and down so people don't get confused with which is which um, and put some torches. I do need to carpet this as well but I'm pretty sure it'll be okay for now. But I really liked the way it turned out but this is so cool because I haven't built any statues in survival recently or at all really. But I really enjoyed building this. It was super fun. And in the time lapse, I did have some problem with the hand on the left side. Because that was the first time I built it. Um, and it does look a little bit weird. But it looks cool. I like it. Um, so yeah, in the time lapse, there was some points where it skipped and stuff. But that's just because there were some points I forgot to <laughs> click record and stuff. So um, yeah, but it turned out super well. I really enjoyed how it how it turned out. When I was building the transition, Shaw decided to come and photobomb the transition. So, <laughs> it's the start of that. Thought I'll include it in the video, because why not?
Chong's hate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and let's get back to the video. What I want to do now is I can't build the manor because it's already Friday, so um, I did get behind with some stuff, and I haven't been on for a day or two, like, as much as I wanted to get on with, but um, I've got the stuff for the manor. I'm currently building it in creative because the old creative world that I had it on has gone and I didn't get to finish it fully so I didn't want to build it in survival and then it not look right so I'm building it in creative I'm gonna build it up over the weekend and then next episode I'll build it and um get it all finished up and then I can start doing my sorting system and all that my auto sorter and stuff like that it's gonna be so cool but I want to find uh, I've still got a bit of time in the episode so I want to find um some like an island or something where I can start doing my industrial district and then I can start working on farms and stuff and then I can start adding that into episodes as well doing like one or two farms in an episode and then it gives more content and stuff like that and it'll progress me further along so yeah let's go find an island. Right so after many hours of traveling <laughs> like honestly this took a lot longer than I hoped but it was all worth it I've been searching for a long time like not just today but for probably the whole like probably for about a week I've just like every now and then been traveling and I luckily came across this island when I was just boating but uh this is what I've found so far it's such a good island. I am so happy with how I found this. Like, there's some gravel, which will be great for me to mine out, because I do need gravel for concrete and stuff. But look at this. This is absolutely amazing. The shape of the island, how small the island, everything is so perfect with this. I have set another portal up to it, because this is such a distance from spawn. It is ridiculous but it was all worth it because this is going to be the uh, industrial district for me this is where i'm going to build all my farms all the stuff that i need stuff like that this is everything where it's going to grow all the farms everything um include like decluding my iron farm though because i've already built that i could build it move it over here but i have no reason to because the iron farm's going to work into my medieval village so i'm going to leave that there and just AFK it now and then. I don't really need to because I AFK it so much when I first built it. So I think I'm good for the time being. But this is so good. I'm so happy with this. The fact that there's nothing, like you can see there's nothing around it for miles. It's ridiculous how far this is. But it's all worth it because just look at the absolute size of this. It is so good. I'm really happy with this. It's great though because it's. I'm gonna flatten it all out, get rid of all these trees and stuff between episodes because um, there's. It's a bit too late for me to start doing more stuff now. I want to mine all this out and stuff, and I'll do all this off camera because this will be a quite a lengthy process. And then what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna make a massive like. I'm gonna put it on something, so I'll put it on like. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll get concrete and then make a massive square and then, you know, it just, it'll be super cool. I'm honestly so happy with finding this and it took me so long, it is ridiculous. But yeah, this is perfect. Look at, it's like the perfect size for all my farms and stuff and I'm really looking forward to starting to build this up. I'm, I've never really done an industrial district before because I'm so bad at organising but this is super cool. This is super good. So I think I'm going to have to leave it there. I know I'm cutting it short and it's not as long as the first episode, but I'm, I promise I'll 
try and do way more in the next episode. I'll build my mansion, build a warehouse, do everything I can, and I'll proper just go for it. And I'll even start working on this too, which is going to be good. Plus, uh, I'm going to be hopefully going end busting on the stream soon as well, so I'll have Elytra soon enough. So if you want to watch me go end busting and get a load of Elytras and Shulkras and stuff like that, uh, I'll be streaming it either this weekend or on Monday. Um, probably quite late into the day, so about 7pm GMT time. Um, so yeah, please don't be uh, afraid to join along and stuff. It's going to be super cool. I'm going to stream more often too. Everything that I do off camera, I'm streaming most of the time. So, you know, check it out. Like the, I got Nether Stars off camera. I did that on stream and stuff like that. So you get to see the whole behind the scenes. It's super cool. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I had fun making it. I really enjoyed how this turned out and I'm really happy that I had like a different transition as well. Like I'm just sort of playing around with doing the transitions and stuff, you know, like the buildings and having different camera angles. So and playing it out around with music too. I've had a load of fun just finding different music that I can use for different stuff and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's super, super good. And I'm so happy I joined this realm and stuff like that. So I'm super happy that this is all going very well. Everything's going super and I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm going to end it here and yeah, I'll see you next Friday.